Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to be learning. Sorry, I just got done with my ding dongs. <laughs> this is not sponsored, but if Ding Dong, aka Hostess, wants to sponsor me, bring on the ding dongs. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Bring on the ding dong. You make this vow if you want. I don't care. I'll be known as the 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 ding dong cake eater. I don't care. Anyways, today we are going to do chalk paint. And I'm super excited because this is the first step to working on my kitchen. In my kitchen, I'm going to end up doing a metal wall. I'm going to paint my cabinets. I'm going to redo my countertops. But the start is my coffee bar. So today is a really exciting day. The whole cabinet is going to be black. And then the metal parts, I'm going to paint steel. I'm going to take this kit and it's a rust kit and uh, I'm going to make the metal look rusted because I think it would just be cool because I mean, hello, rusted metal is cool. Not if you get poked with it, you know, or you get cut, but if it's in your kitchen, in my opinion, it's pretty awesome. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a little bit of this black. Can you see how thick that is? Good Lord, is that thick. So we're just going to take uh, any type of spray bottle. Alright, so now that I have my black and I have it watered down a little bit, I'm just going to go in every direction and completely coat it. I'm going to put one coat, let it dry, and then go back and do another coat. Now, this is called chalk paint, and it's not called chalk paint because it's the chalkboard paint on the wall. It's called chalk paint because when it dries, it kind of has a texture of a chalk. So that's why it's really important that you have to seal it with either a wax or a lacquer. Some type of sealer when you're done, because if you don't, it's just going to rub off over time. So that's one important thing to remember. 